We are off to Centro now because we are on Chinicolo. This channel is totally about the Mediterranean lifestyle, but it's also really just about a 24 year old girl figuring it out. Buongiorno. <laughs> Good morning. We are on Ginicolo, which is one of the very famous hills of Rome. And this is one of the most famous ones because of the view. Ciao, it's Tuesday. Sorry for my heels. I know I'm like stomping. I'm walking insanely fast so I can get in time because I want to be on time for my photo shoot. <laughs> I sound so vain. But yes, I'm getting a little photo shoot done just this like one hour worth down in downtown Rome because I'm gonna be straight up honest ever since my breakup. <laughs> um, I don't know how the content creators do it. I don't know how people on social media get so many photos taken of themselves if they don't have a photographer or if they don't have a boyfriend like you know those type of or a girlfriend i mean anyways or a partner so i have been having my aunt take insanely low quality i love her but she takes horrible photos whenever we go out and do things and i just wanted a few really nice photos in my home in my favorite city in the world. So I am currently stomping my way to the metro because it's the fastest way to our meeting point. And I'll just see you there because it's chaos right now. Piazza del Popolo. I have walked a straight line today from the Colosseum to the Roman Forum to Via del Piazza Venezia to Via del Corso and now to Piazza del Popolo. And I'm exiting Piazza del Popolo to go get a drink, aka a aperitivo. Shocker. Happy Wednesday. Are my lips super chapped? Yeah, they kind of are. Um, also, oh my goodness, look at this, guys. This is a third, no, a fourth of what it was. This is a mosquito bite that I got Saturday night 
and actually I got three. I got one, two, three, but it's rather um, ugly. Anyways, the church bells are going off because because today is Wednesday, December 8th, and it is a very big Christmas holiday, aka Catholic holiday, and because we are in a Catholic country, um, <laughs> for the most part, predominantly, predominantly Catholic country, they take their Catholic holidays very seriously. <laughs> So because it's a good old Catholic holiday, we don't, no one has work today for the most part. I mean, a lot of people don't have work, which means my gym is closed. Yippee skippy. So I'm taking my morning gym time for a nice little leisurely walk in the freezing cold because I'm running out of time for my peaceful, peaceful walks here. Um, and if I start talking about it more, I'm gonna cry. So we're not gonna talk about it anymore, okay? Um, Caroline, why do you cry in every YouTube video? Because I'm emotional. <laughs> like, also, I'm sorry for the horrible quality. That's why I'm throwing in other clips here because I just look like terribleness and I didn't plan on even vlogging. It feels like I cry in almost every YouTube video that I have because I'm not depressed, guys. Like, I'm just emotional. Like, I'm an emotional being. And like, we don't normalize crying enough. Crying is like this big deal. It's like playing victim, very dramatic. But like, what if it's just like also really healthy, in my opinion. Anyways, long story short, I'm on a walk and I want to go see the tree today, but it's a 100% chance of rain at 5.30 when the tree is supposed to be turned on. So, <laughs> to be continued. Oh boy, okay, we're gonna take off this scarf. I know this looks really like mom moment here with the white undershirt but it'll be covered up with the scarf the whole night so but anyways we're still on wednesday um my face is burning up my eyes are puffy because you know how i almost cried this morning when i was walking well i called my mom about an hour ago and uh got it out of my system so anyways we are gonna go watch this tree light up whether it storms tonight or not we're gonna do a little countdown, never in my life. I've never been to New York or any of these really cool places where they do the cute little countdown and light up the tree, so we're gonna do it. I don't need to put on barely any makeup because I'm gonna be in the dark um, to go wash this, but I feel like I just wanna look, I didn't put any primer on, shoot. My cheeks are super rosy because I was cuddled up in like 40 blankets because I was so cold and then the heat finally turned on. Anyways, I got my little cry out, and like I said earlier today, I truly am not, I'm not like depressed, I don't want to be crying in every video, guys. I'm like, I'm happy, I'm happy, but can we just normalize emotions? I think I'm hitting a seriously hard point of missing my freaking independence, of living alone. Like at first when I started living with family, in September when I left my apartment in Arizona that I had for a year, I was like, oh, this is so good for my mental health. I'm around family and friends all day. I've been super isolated in Arizona. So it's so nice to live with you know, other people and stay super busy with them and always have something to do with them. And no one's gonna see my face. I'm literally just doing this for me to feel like 5% better right now because you know what, I don't wanna go. Not only do I not want to go see the tree, I was planning to go see the tree and then I was planning to get back on the bus, come home, get into bed and do work all today because I'm so behind in work. I think I'm just so, I just want to say no. Like today, today I tried to say no to my aunt. Like you don't have to come watch the tree lighting with me in the rain. She's like, come to my house. We'll make some pizza, this and that. I'm just like, I freaking love you to death. I do. But like, I just, I wanted to say no. I even said like, you know what? I really don't want to. She's like, no, come on, come, come. Mentally, I just, I can't do it anymore. Like mentally, I've been with someone and just adjusting to their, their schedule, what they want to do. I've just been with so many people and it's been wonderful and I'm so blessed and I'm not complaining, but like the holiday season and just in general, like, are we allowed to have, like, we're allowed to have boundaries, right? Like, I'm allowed to say no if I don't want to go do something. It's not because I don't love the person or the experience. I just I don't want to. Eyebrow pencil, where are you? I found the eyebrow pencil. All right, so anyways, we're going to probably, I'm probably going to have to go with my hand tonight. So long story short, today's Wednesday, December 8th. It's the Feast of the Immaculate Conception. Did I say that this morning? I did. I did talk about that. We're going to go see this tree light up. 
and we're gonna have a great time everything's gonna get done right and all my work's gonna get done eventually some way or another all the work's gonna get done i can't fix anything right now i can't fix the fact that i don't have my own space you know this channel is totally about the mediterranean lifestyle i'm gonna continue putting eyeshadow on even though i told myself to stop but it's also really just about a 24 year old girl figuring it out the most advice i get is no one has it figured out i know i know no one has it figured out but sometimes it really freaking sucks not knowing not having it figured out not i'm gonna put on some mascara i also just put on a little like lip scrub chapstick i have the worst chap lips ever all right i already look 40 times better just a little concealer a little bit of eyeshadow a little bit of mascara and we are feeling a hundred times better than I did just five minutes ago. Caroline, you don't need makeup to make yourself feel beautiful. Um, yeah, you know what? Sometimes you need to fake it. And if I need to put on some makeup and fake it to make myself feel gosh darn good and energetic and happy and in the moment and present and not stressed about the things that I cannot control or the things that I do not know for my future, then heck, I'm gonna throw on some mascara. Really, I am so strange, I tell you. house for pizza and guys my hair is a disaster oh well time for some pizza Ciao! Hello! It's three days later. It is Saturday. Saturday afternoon. Last we talked was Wednesday evening and now it is Saturday afternoon. Am I in a rush? Once again, yes. I'm in a rush. I actually have been watching a bunch of other creators on YouTube recently and I noticed that some of my favorite YouTubers are so calm and always so peaceful. And then I feel like I edit my YouTube videos. And I'm just a crazy, chaotic mess. Part of me wishes I was so much more organized and I could be more calming and very peaceful and slow. But that's just not me. As my mother always calls me, a bull in a china shop. That is what I am. I can't pretend to be something I'm not. Maybe one day I'll get my life together, you know? But right now, I don't know. Like I was saying, it's figuring it out day by day with all the Roman noise in the background always interrupting me. But anyways, yes, I'm in a rush. Story of my life, am I out of breath? Story of my life. <laughs> to a lie. Anyways, let's talk about something other than my flaws. We are off to Centro now because I usually wouldn't go to Centro on a Saturday afternoon when I live here. I could go like during the week when it's not incredibly chaotic, but it's gonna be incredibly chaotic because the first day in like, 10 days we haven't had rain and we're getting closer to Christmas time. But anyways, I'm going because my friend Hannah's there. Hannah, my friend Hannah, she's from Germany. We met like the second week of me coming here um, back in September. We were together all the time and she left to go back home to Germany, but she's here just for this weekend. She's at Centro. I'm gonna go meet with her. We're gonna have some girly time at Centro. I can't wait. I'm so excited. And then my aunt is picking me up afterwards to go out to dinner. I have no idea where we're going. Old Caroline would have freaked out and been like, where are we going? I need the details. What are we doing? But new Caroline's just like, oh, we're going to Centro with no plans. Let's go. Oh, I'm going to dinner tonight and I know nothing about dinner. Let's go. Go with the flow. 
I have learned in the last, since I got here in September, that going with the flow is one of the healthiest things you could ever possibly learn to do. So it is several, several days later. Um, it's like almost more than a week later. I've already started editing the vlog after this. So I can confirm that the vlog after this, this was just a little intro into Christmas time in Rome. But the vlog after this, my mom is officially here. So if you saw our Greece vlog together, where we did have some crazy, amazing, fun, wonderful time in Greece, you know that when my mom and I are traveling together, we we do things well we do things very well the next vlog is going to be a lot of being with her being downtown in centro and christmas time and all of the things so this was just kind of like a little intro into that so even though it wasn't like the most entertaining of vlogs i really 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 did hope you enjoyed this video i hope you got some kind of value whether it was just enjoyment or relatability or just some mediterranean lifestyle tips or anything like that i just hope you got something just something out of this video and if you did enjoy please remember to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already and turn on the on and turn on that notification bell so you can know when i upload and be one of the first ones to watch um your support makes my day it makes my world it gives me the confidence and the courage to keep going and keep following my dreams and i just cannot thank you enough for supporting me so i just hope that you enjoyed this video and until next time i hope you create a very zestful day ciao